this weekend, uh, there's a little different thing. You've got uh, Central Arkansas here, and if, if all things go like according to plan, you can clinch the Southland Conference outright this week. Talk about this big weekend series. Yeah, you know, I think we've done a great job to this point of setting ourselves up in a, in a, in a great position. Uh, you know, we've talked about all year. In order to win a championship, when we had the opportunity to sweep, we have to sweep, and we've done that the last three weekends and set ourselves up in a, in a great position. But uh, the thing now is not to get content. The thing now is really put this thing in overhaul and uh, really be hungrier than ever, to be honest with you. And then again, just can't get away from what we keep talking about all year, just one pitch at a time, stay process oriented. Coach, these two teams know each other well. The last two years, it, it, the Southland Conference Tournament Finals came down to these two teams. Uh, split, first year they took it, last year we took it. Uh, Tell us a little bit about Central Arkansas and what you expect from them when they roll in here tonight. Yeah, you know, Coach Gum has done a fantastic job with that program. Uh, you know, he's been there now six or seven years, and when he got in there, definitely what the program it is now. Uh, they're year in, year out contender. You know, they had the big year there two years ago where they made made a run all the way from being one game away from Super Regional. Obviously, last year being at their place, uh, they made a nice run there in the tournament, and, and we matched up there in the championship game, and we got them the second go around. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great weekend. They've always been able to pitch. They've always played very uh, fundamental baseball defensively, but also from an offensive standpoint, uh, have done a good job of moving the ball around and, and having productive at bats and run the bases uh, very with a lot of awareness. And uh, he's done a great job that program. So, you know, we're expecting, obviously, kind of look in the mirror a little bit. Uh, pitching staff that, that normally stays a lot with their starters, that goes deep with their starters. The Connor Gilmore kid we're very familiar with. He beat, beat us as a freshman to go to the, the regionals that year. Uh, and we saw him last year in the series, not in the tournament. But uh, so it's an opponent we're very familiar with for the most part, and, and obviously should be making for a great weekend. Coach, there's no den denying the magic that Pat Keneally Diamond has on this team. You're 20 and four this year at home. Uh, how important is it to have this series here at, at your place, your dugout, your bedroom tonight, and things like that? Well, that's it. You know, uh, it, it's tough to sweep on the road, uh, and we've done that here. Uh, you know, the last uh, two weeks ago at Houston Baptist, and, and did it at Corpus Christi to set this uh, thing up for us at back at home. And uh, obviously, the amount of fan support that we have, and uh, the amount of support we get from Hammond and itself is. is uh, this is something where we come back and, and they can actually see this thing firsthand instead of having to watch it on TV or, or having to travel to go see it. Uh, the Pat's a special place to our guys and our coaching staff as well, and uh, we couldn't be more proud to be here and have this opportunity to, to do it here in the next three games. Coach, you got to have three. Any kind of way you can get them, whether it be wins or losses by Northwestern, how do you keep the guys focused tonight and tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow it could actually happen, but tonight it can't happen. How do you keep the guys focused and in the in, and in the in the moment of the game? Well, you know, the biggest thing we've talked about is we can't get caught up. You know, obviously here at the end of the year, having a great year, there's going to be a lot of media attention. There's going to be a lot of uh, fan attention. You know, people telling you, you know, the magic number's three, and your RPI is this, and you got in that large bid, and how many wins is it going to take? We can't get caught up in that. What we have to get ourselves uh, consumed with is this one pitch at a time mentality, the, the, this process orientation mentality that we keep talking about, uh, because that's all we got to do. You know, if we keep talking about it, if we take care of our part of it, the result will be there for us. And uh, if we do, you know, start worrying about tomorrow, start worrying about Sunday, uh, start worrying about the opponent who we're playing, and not take care of our business and worry about ourselves. Uh, it can make for, for disaster. And so we also saw that this past Tuesday night or past Wednesday night against Southern. Uh, the good thing, though, with this club, every time they've had a challenge or faced some adversity, they've answered the bell. Uh, they're there again. They're faced with some adversity. Uh, here, here's the deal that they had a very tough loss on Wednesday night. Uh, they've done a good job of bouncing back all year, and we need to continue to do so this weekend. Coach, any time you put 1-8 down on the bump, man, it's, uh, it's a luxury for you. Hey, you're going to roll him out there tonight. Uh, what do you, I mean, the defending Southland Conference Pitcher of the Week, 8-2 uh, and two overall. I mean, kids just had a phenomenal year. What do you expect from him tonight in, in a big game situation? Well, this is where Tate thrives more than any. Uh, he loves this big game situation. Obviously, you saw him last year in the tournament, being the tournament MVP there. Uh, pitching against Sam Houston, going five and two thirds, and obviously come back in Central Arc and throw, throw another five and third innings there, only on two days rest. And uh, this man, this young man, you know, from a, from a stuff standpoint, has good stuff, but uh, the makeup and mentality is off the charts. Uh, when you get in this type of situation, uh, this is definitely the one guy you want. And uh, you know, that's what we talked about earlier in the year. A lot of people, you know, started looking at numbers and said, "Ask why Jake's not on Friday night instead of Tate." Well. Tate's a seasoned vet. Tate, Tate, like I said, thrives at this moment. Uh, and he's going to be obviously excited and pumped up to go be able to go out there and compete. Coach, uh, hold on one second. I had a question. I got to remember what it was now. God, I, mean, I just went. He went. <laughs> uh, oh, 
obviously when you get into the game, uh, you're going to be watching each pitch, watching each at bat. Uh, will there be any scoreboard watching going on? I mean, uh, like I said, any combination of three games is uh, Northwestern loss. Are you? Will you be checking Northwestern score during the game, or once you get into that game, are you just like locked in? Yeah. Again, we got to stay locked into what we're what we're worried about, and that's uh, taking care of business tonight. Like you said, we can't do anything tonight besides just win. Uh, like I said, it's a combination of, of three games. So uh, tonight's going to matter whether they win or lose. You know, again, we go back to us with six games left. All we need to do is win three games. Uh, so what we need to do is just take care of business on our side of it. And, and that way, you know, if we stay with that side of it, you know, how else we get a chance to dog power with a win uh, instead of having to kind of do it by default a little bit. You know, we want to be able to make sure we're taking care of business uh, regardless whether they win or lose, and we're taking care of our business by winning. When you do get that win and you do, your team does get the dog pile, uh, there's still more baseball to play. How will you, as a coach, uh, will you manage that uh, of letting them enjoy what they just accomplished but knowing that it's time to go back to work because you got a tournament to play? Well, it, it's a five-step process for us, and step one is to, to win the regular season outright. We've never done it before, and uh, that was number one goal from, from day one. Uh, we, we set out to, to make that ring state Southland champion instead of tournament champions, and uh, like I said, we've done a good job of setting ourselves up in a great position, but uh, once that's completed, now step two, now it's time to go win the tournament. Uh, we'll put our focus towards the tournament and, and going to get that at, at automatic bid, I said the at-large bid, uh, and then again, you know, we'll go to step three, step four, step five, regional supers, you know, obviously College World Series, uh, but none of that happens unless we take care of step one. Step one is to take care of that uh, that regular season title, and then once that's completed, then we got to go take care of step two. You know, uh, nothing's a guarantee when you start, start talking about at large bids, and uh, you know we want to make sure we handle our business on our side of it. Uh, that way, they can't keep us out of it.